In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create doodle letters in Canva and place your own backgrounds inside like this. to use on your designs. So let me show you how I created these doodle letters. Let's get started. All right, I'm going to add a new page. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create our doodles. So we're going to go to draw. And if you have an iPad, this actually works really, really well with an iPad. You can open up your iPad, uh, your Canva on your iPad, and then you can use your Apple Pencil to make um, squiggly lines. But I'm going to try and do that with uh, my mouse. So I've got uh, black selected. And for line, I'm just going to make the line a little bit larger like that. I'll come to my work space now. And I'm going to make a couple of squiggly lines. Now, the trick to this is to not release the mouse. Keep the squiggly line all one line. OK, so I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to start by going down, up, down, up. And now I'll create another one. Now, of course, this isn't straight. It works better with an Apple Pencil, that's for sure. Or you can even use um, a straight line multiple lines and connect them together. The only problem with that is that if you move one line, then um, you have to realign it. But so this works actually better if you're if you can draw a straight line and if you can uh, keep your mouse button clicked until you finish. So I'm going to try again. And this time I'm only going to create three lines. So I'll go da, da, da. OK. So I'm done now. I have my lines. So I'm just going to close this off. And I'm going to select these and I'm just going to make them smaller and I'm going to put them on the side here. Now I'm going to put elements and I'm going to search for letter frames. Now, if you know what frames you want to use, you can just type in uh, A, B or C and then put it on your desktop. I'll start with the letter A. So here's my letter A. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to lines. I'm going to put border on. I'm going to change the border weight to two. And I'm going to make that a little bit larger. And I'm going to change the color of that to white. And what we'll do is we'll just put a couple of lines on our workspace. Just so that we can, when we're creating the letters, we can create them all the same size. So I'm going to grab this letter frame. I'm just going to put it on my workspace and just resize it. And now I'm going to rotate it slightly like that. I'm going to make a copy of this. And I'm going to rotate it the other way. And what you want to do is you just want to make sure that um, you can see both ends of the rotation. So I'll make another copy of that. And I'll place it like that. And I'm just going to align it so that it's in the middle of those two frames. And now I'm going to remove the color and just make it transparent. So now I can come in and put any uh, background I want into this letter frame. Now the last part is putting our doodles on here. So I'm going to grab one doodle and I'm going to put it uh, on my frame. Now I'll, let's just bring that to the front. That way we have our doodles in front and we can work with them. Okay, I'll make another copy of this. And I'll place it over here. And don't forget, we've also got this one right here, which you can alternate and place somewhere else. 
So there is one doodle letter. Now again, this works a lot better with an iPad. Now, once you have created your doodle letter, all that's left is for you to grab background, any background, and place it in your letter. Like that. And you can always double click and just move your background around. Now, the other thing that you might want to do too is just grab everything and group it together. That way you don't have to worry about moving one without moving the other. And you also, if that background is too dark, you can always make it more transparent or lighter like that. Let me show you what the doodle letters look like once I finished. So this is what my doodle letters look like. I come into this one and these lines I made with an Apple pencil so you can see the difference between using your cursor and mouse uh, versus using an Apple pencil. Now I will have my set available on my shop if you wanted to purchase this set of doodle letters. And I'll leave the link in the first comments. So let me know what you think about this. And if there's anything else you want to see, just drop it in the comments. For now, I'll say bye-bye.